Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna see if Eunice hair is really worth the hype. I've been seeing such great reviews and also tutorials regarding their hair, so I had to try it. I also follow a YouTuber by the name of Ashley Devana and she swears by their hair. She only wears Eunice hair and she's done really, really nice videos where she's done installs with sew-in, she's done lace frontal installs and also Sophieology. She is a vet, guys. Like, her videos are always amazing. She has this awesome lace series, and she's dyed it red. She's done their hair in blonde. It looks so beautiful. So today, I'm going to be showing you all a lace frontal install using this Wave device that I found on Amazon. It's really, really cool. So let's get right into it. So this is what the unit looks like. It is a 13 by 4 lace closure, and it does come pre-plugged. This is what the hairline looks like. It comes with baby hair. And I love how they package the unit. I've not seen any other company do this necessarily. They package the unit in such a manner to where the frontal has nice support and it's able to keep the form. So that's really good. They have this little cushion in the front. Most companies just insert maybe tissue paper or something just in the middle of the unit and that's it. But they've taken it a step further. So I thought that was really cool. And y'all, this hair, it's the body weight texture and it feels like butter. It is so soft and plush. I can see this unit lasting a while. So this is what the unit looks like. It's very well constructed. It does come with two combs on the side, one at the bottom and one in the middle. So I'm just gonna put the unit on the wig stand so that you all can see what it looks like a little closely. So as you can see, the hairline was done well, but feel free to customize it as much as possible to get your desired look. So now I've turned the unit over in order to tint the lace. And this is the method that I use, the Sally Hansen Leg Spray in color medium glow. So I'm just spraying that all over the lace. And I wish I had sprayed maybe a little less because it did transfer a lot with this unit. This unit really, um, the products that you put on the lace are gonna seep through so much more than what I've experienced with other companies. So that's something to keep in mind. Don't use as much if you're using this method because as you can see, the transfer was crazy. So I'm just taking a makeup wipe and cleaning it up. You're gonna have to go in the part and the area near the part that has some of the, the product on it. Just clean that up and you should be okay. You could also spray water to help with this process, but the hairline looks good and it's to my liking. I don't feel like I need to do any more to it. I could, but I decided not to for this install. So now that we've tinted the lace, I wanted to see what the unit looked like before actually cutting the lace off. I got my unit in a size medium and it is in 180% density and the length is length 20. Now what I noticed about this particular hairline is although it is pre-plucked nicely, that it's really not low hairline friendly. And I did get a size medium and I actually wish I had gotten a small. This is a company where it does fit true to size. so. I typically wear small and I should have just gone for that with this particular um, unit. But I, I just never know which companies are gonna work well with the small or not. But this is one that I should have just gone with the smalls. But I'll be sure to do that next time. But I was able to make it work with the size medium. So I'm just cutting off the lace currently and then I'm gonna proceed to install and after that I'll come back on. By the phone for five hours, staring out the window, trying to locate where your man is. Disappeared to hoping you would come back with some excuse, but the absence of common courtesy left me confused. So, why didn't you call? Hello. Couldn't pick up the phone No, no Hello, hello Hello, hello You had both numbers But you didn't bother to pick up the phone Why didn't you call? You call, you call, you call, you call, you call, you call. y'all so as you can see my hairline is still kind of peeking out some i have a very square boxy hairline and for my low hairline girls 
this is going to be something that's going to really help you if you're wearing a middle part you can take baby hair out in the area where your peaks are just cut those down using a razor and then form your baby hair and you should be okay. After cutting my baby hair down, I've been going for the Sebastian Schaefer Plus holding spray lately. This is gonna really give you a nice and refined look without your baby hair looking overly sleek. What I love about it is that it's not sticky like the Got To Be Glue Gel, and it's also very good for humidity, and I live in Houston, as I shared with you guys before, so humidity is something that I'm not trying to play with. This product is also going to give you a really nice hole, which I'm such a fan of. And you can find it in places like Walmart, you can find it in Sally's, but I found mine on Amazon. So now we're just going to go in with a powder foundation. This one is from MAC. And this is their Studio Plus, I believe. And I'm going to go into the part with that product and also any areas that I want to look more like my scalp. So we're just going to go in on the sides, in the part. And this is also a really good time to do cleanup in any areas where maybe the gossipy glue got on your makeup or just any other areas where there might be a bit of error. I assumed that we were making some progress. Yes, I thought wrong, but you had my feelings under arrest. Then you walked off. You claimed to be this honest person yet. Something's clearly So now that we've gotten our unit laid, we're going to begin to use this wave former that I actually found on Amazon. This thing is so cool. You can create many different types of waves. You can do tight waves, defined waves, loose waves, and also tussle waves. It's a bedhead wave on the go, and it is so awesome. So this is what the temperature dial looks like. It goes all the way up to 400, and I definitely went all the way up to that temperature because I wanted to see how well this hair responded to this type of heat. Here's an up close visual of the plates. This device was very user friendly and I was very happy with this purchase. So I'm just gonna wait until it gets to 400, allow it maybe about 30 seconds to a minute to actually get as hot as I need it to be. I'm gonna comb out the waves that this unit comes with and then I'm gonna actually define them by using this device. What I often find with the body wave texture, although I really like that texture, is that you have a very difficult time defining it. So what you generally end up doing is having to curl the hair. But if you have a heated wave tool like the one that I just showed you guys, it's gonna make the process so much easier. You can quickly and effectively define the texture and be on your way. I love, love, love how it turned out. Out. and guys this hair responded so well to this amount of heat it also didn't smell burnt during the heat application process and this is a good indicator as to whether the hair is good quality or not I also didn't experience any shedding so this hair hmm, it was definitely a one I was I was impressed y'all that's the end of this video i hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed it be sure to check the description box for all the links and details to this particular unit 
I had a very good experience with this hair. Not only is it really beautiful and good quality, but it's also really affordable. This hair was only $176 and that's very good for this length. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Call, you call, call.